this is Arya from Britannia and welcome back to another video and today we are going to talk about types of air freight. Do you remember when we last talked about what air freight is and its advantages? It's okay if you don't. Just revisit the last video the link of which is in the description. Just giving a gist of what we talked about the last time. Air freight is a process of transporting goods from place A to B through air carriers. If you have something of high value and needs to be transported on the most urgent basis, then air freight is just the option for you. This process has considerable perks which includes high level of security of the consignment, express delivery system, low insurance premium, trackable cargo status and a load mod. Now we are coming to the types of air freight. As each item would need different transporting conditions from the other, they are segregated into two types, general cargo and special cargo. Stuff like clothes in boxes, basic electronics, books which don't require any special conditions in transit like temperature control or extra swift delivery due to its limited shell life fall into the category of general cargo. For listing in general cargo, a package shouldn't be of extreme dimensions, easily movable and of fragile condition which reflects on the freight cost as well. It is relatively cheaper than special cargo. Coming to special cargo, this one covers a wider range of commodities. Items that fall into special cargo require intensive care during the transit which reflects on the subsequent invoice. Some of the cargo types that fall under the special cargo category are Firstly, dangerous or hazardous cargo that includes items which might be flammable, radioactive, explosive, poisonous, etc. Such items require special packaging and care and a separate section to be stored in the carrier. Secondly, temperature sensitive items that can get spoiled if not taken care of in a proper manner like eatables, pharmaceuticals, etc. Thirdly, human tissues, organs or remains that need very specific transporting conditions like very special packaging and sometimes temperature control as well. Such consignments are very expensive compared to the general cargo. And lastly, live animals. It might sound baffling to some listeners, but yes, animals are also considered as cargo when getting transported. Live animals require proper accommodation and conditions for their comfortable travel, which take in certain extra efforts from the side of the forwarders, hence a hefty amount of fee. Wrapping up right here, air freight transport a wide variety of goods and it indeed is a reliable and safer medium to get your stuff delivered with priority of goods and your concern. This is me Arya and you're watching this on Britannia, your global freight servicing partner. Stay with us on this wonderful journey of knowledge, savoring each and every moment of it. Thank you.